happy Friday to all of you shifters. It's already 2 o'clock here in the Philippines and for those who don't know me yet, I'm Chris Bolsita and I'm one of the member, the active member in this powerful group, Make the Shift. So what makes me decide to show up today? One other reason. The members of the royal family here in this shift encourage me to show up. I'm not gonna talk who are those royal members. I just preferred calling them royals because I believe they are. Well, of course, I want to face my fear on camera and um, inspire others that life is too short to let fear make big decisions for you. So, everybody goes through some tough times in their life and no one is exempted. I believed that life has never been easy and I'm one of those lucky ones yes you probably heard it right I am I am lucky to experience those tough times or shall I say I am counting it as a blessing why because I won't see myself as I am today yes it's actually very common to partners to struggle financially and sometimes it's one of the primary reason to call it quits in your relationship I believe that money is also um, the root of all evil yes the root of all evil um, because me and my hubby started having this issue right after I got pregnant when when we were still in Singapore uh, we worked there for almost a year um, of course we care about our family so much that we think working abroad would be the right choice to get the kind of future that we always wanted the future that we've always hoped for I went back here in Philippines, of course, a crying lady. Mm, my parents aren't supportive at that time because, because they thought I am still at the young age to engage in this kind of uh, situation. Well, I believe I am not young enough to, to handle this kind of situation because I am already 26, I think so. Mm. So, moving forward. And who wonders, I haven't saved anything. Um, of course, I lost my job. I have to pay in full my agency. Plus, there is this long-distance relationship. Mm. It's kind of... It's kind of very difficult to... Um, to manage. And... A month after, my hubby told me um, that his company decided to make him a priority for ESPAS. So, uh, it's kind of relief. I'm happy. Uh, because it's a very hard to get ESPAS in Singapore. It's actually a work permit for the degree holder foreigner. Way back then, he he started working with this company. They only applied him for a skilled work permit. So that is the only basic one. We don't have any choice at that time. And he needs to get the chance, get the work permit just to stay with me in Singapore and then work with, work there with me. So that's why he, that's why he just get the work permit. And then now there is a, a chance of, for him to stay longer there and ask pass holder. Yet the, the company asked him to go back to the Philippines while waiting for the Ministry of the Manpower to approve the quota. And once the quota has been approved by them, so he can work then for almost two years. But, yes, the sad thing is he needs to go back. He is unemployed for six months. And the company 
I mean, there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee that he can, I mean, to go back there in Singapore to, to work with with the same company because the company, the company just said, um, we need to wait. <laughs> that thing, wait. So it came as a bit of a shock. We often fight until we reach to the point that we almost lost our baby. Yes, we almost we almost lost our baby. And um, there is this uh, sleepless night and um, too much depression. There's a lot of things that coming up on my mind that I, I don't know. We don't even know how to get started again. I mean, well, of course, one day after, I I just saw myself holding a rosary, uh, trying to keep my faith alive. Um, I prayed to God. It was actually the sincere prayer I ever um, think um, because I was hoping that God will use my husband as his instrument to back me up when I'm almost to give up. Yes, I, I am almost to give up. It's not actually my thing, but I'm almost to give up. Uh, of course, to keep me going, I pursue my passion and purpose. Because I find it hard to pursue my purpose at that time because I have no one to, to rely on. And my parents are, are not there already. But God is so good. Well, miracle really happens every day. And it happens on that day, and it surprised me. I got an online job with a lovely supportive boss. I guess everybody knows who she is. Every day I am also asking God, please shower her with so much blessings because of her natural goodness, natural born goodness. I'm super glad I had a safe and healthy delivery because I was thinking I am not the only one who who prays at that time. The shifters here in this community, this powerful community, offered prayers. And here, there it is. No hospital bill to pay. I'm so happy. Due to insurance coverage. It's a very safe, healthy delivery. I can stop thanking God for the beauty and good health. We have given to our child, to our beautiful first daughter. She she actually survived without incubation, even though she was just 35 weeks. And now I'm, I'm super happy because she is 37 weeks right now. And yes, she is 37 weeks, so she's very healthy and beautiful. Um, this is the kind of pain, pain and beauty when you are giving birth, and I couldn't help myself. I mean, very for being so grateful, you know. And yes, uh, that's all that I I want to showcase my my shift. So before I say goodbye, just a piece of advice uh, for living a happy life. I know I know no one wants to live a miserable life, right? So um. Face everything and rise. If I can do it, 
Of course, you can also do it. Yes, you can do it. Be contented even in small things. Great things often start small before it gets bigger. Be patient and don't rush into things. God knows best. Trust Him. He can give you anything that you need at the right time. So that's all for now. And I'm so sorry if I cried. <laughs> I'm a crying lady. So thank you guys for taking time to hear my story. Now I encourage you to show up. To showcase your own shift. Give it a try. Don't be afraid about camera because I promise it won't be a bite to you. <laughs> so um, it was a great relief when you have someone you can be trusted. So about some happenings of your life. So. Just give it a try. Okay, bye. Thank you.